the Halloween event is almost over. Now I will come back again to give Strat with Golden Minigunner and Mortar. This Strat is basically similar to the Pyro and Electroshocker in my previous video. There are several points that we need to know so that we can reach the far wave in this hardcore mode. 1. We have to survive and do farming from waves 1 to 9. Because farming is very important for buying strong towers in the middle of the game. For this strategy I will use Pyromancer for early defense at wave 3. Pyromancer is very good for defense. Also Pyromancer can kill invisible and leads. Then focus on farming when the Pyromancer keeps killing enemies. We must have 8 farms level 3 before wave 21. Don't forget to upgrade Pyromancer to level 2 to kill invisible at wave 10. And we already have farms to start with. 2. The following point is to prepare the tower to kill balloons and leads. Because Pyro already has lead detection, we need to prepare the mortar. You can still farm up to level 11 but, make sure you will have enough money to place to mortars on waves 11 and 12 to kill all balloons. Why do we need to mortars? Because mortars sometimes can't kill all the balloons. This is because mortars have a low fire rate. Mortar can also help Pyro to kill the lead boss. Let's see for a moment how Pyro level 2 kills all invisibles. The next step is to prepare to face Mega Slow Boss in Wave 19. And we need to complete 8 level 3 farms before wave 21. We can upgrade the farm to level 3 1 by 1. We also must prepare for breakers at wave 17. Make sure you have money to place minigunner level 1 at wave 17. Minigunner important on this wave to kill breakers also for mega slow boss at wave 19. Continue farming until wave 18. Make sure you have upgrade minigunner to level 2 to kill mega slow boss. Then upgrade to level 3. Now, we must prepare for three shadow bosses, one of the hardest part on hardcore. Make sure after killing the mega slow boss, you complete eight level three farms as soon as possible. We need four minigunners level two and three, and one commander level two to kill three shadow bosses. If you already have eight level three farms in wave 21, you should be able to meet the DPS requirements for wave 25 later. Do not skip wave 24. Get ready for the hardest wave. So many players die on this wave. Remember, use commander ability when shadow boss is on the bridge. Keep trying to add and upgrade the minigunner. And see if the minigunner is very good at killing them. Skip wave fast, so you get money to upgrade minigunner. and the hardest wave has been successfully passed. Yay! Subscribe and share this strat if it's useful for you and your friends. Then?
We are preparing waves 26 to 35 to kill the grave digger. Much easier than wave steps 1 to 25. You only need three level to commanders for chaining. Three mortar levels 4 and 5. Did you know that four mortar level max can kill grave digger easily in crossroad? And four minigunner level 3 and 4. Look how good mortar is with great damage. Grave Digger is coming. But wait. Grave Digger is still wearing his Halloween costume after the event <laughs> at his house. Keep upgrading your towers and keep chaining. Now there is only one grave digger left. You already have an ugly face. And it gets even uglier with pumpkin head on your head. Now I will use my magic touch. Well, it seems like I've shared how to grind gems using minigunner and mortar. After defeating the grave digger, you just place all the towers and upgrade them to the maximum level. Good luck and enjoy!